Hello guys, welcome back to another session. This is class number seven and today we're going to work on backbends. It will be a little bit more intense than our previous backbend session, but still I'll give variations for you to choose what is best for your body today. So we're going to start directly in our tabletop position, making sure the hands and shoulders are aligned, same as knees and hips, and we're going to start with some cat and cows, taking a deep inhale to open up through the chest looking gently up and as we exhale pushing the floor away rounding the spine tailbone in look towards belly inhale deep to open up the chest shoulders back look gently up exhale push the floor away round the spine tailbone in again inhale to open shoulders back look gently up exhale push the floor away round through the spine inhale deep to open shoulders back Exhale, push and round. Last one, inhale deep to open, shoulders back. And exhale, push and round. Very good. Slowly walk with your hands forward to the top of the mat and allow the chest to drop towards your puppy pose. Feel free to have the forehead, the chin or the chest on the mat. If you feel comfortable here, you want to open up more, feel free to come onto the fingertips. This will make it a bit more intense. And if this still feels comfortable for you, you want to maybe open up even more, feel free to flex your feet and try to push the heels back, extending the legs. Of course, this is quite intense. So maybe you can bring the knees back a little bit more, but it's gonna still be more intense than when the knees are grounded and it's going to help you regulate how high you want the hips to be or how low you want them to be. So we're going to try to hold wherever we are for 10. Remember, you can also have the knees on the mat if you need to. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two nice and one slowly bring the knees down hands close to your chest push the floor away come back into all fours beautiful we're gonna flex our feet lift the hips up back down into our down dog ground through the hands ground through the feet breathing deeply and slowly here for three two and one and with the left hand we're gonna grab the right leg or maybe the right heel pushing through the right arm twist deeply to the right for three deep and long breaths here very nice two and one slowly left hand to the mat switch twist to the other side same thing here push through the left arm try to look over to the left and breathe for three two and one slowly bring both your hands on the mat Look forward, bend the knees and walk until you reach between your hands. Open up the chest, inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale, lengthen, look forward, open the chest. Exhale, fold. Last one, inhale, lengthen, look forward, open the chest. Exhale, fold. Feel free to bend the knees if you need to. Connect the belly with the thighs, maybe even knees with the chest. Reach the back of the legs. Lengthen through the spine. Inhale. And as you exhale, try to maintain the connection between chest and knees, between belly and thighs. But see if you can lift the hips high and rotate the hips. Bring the hips forward slightly, pressing with the toes to maintain that connection. We'll hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly bend the knees, release the arms and vertebra by vertebra. Start coming up. Last shoulders up, back and down. Coming into our Tadasana or Samasthiti, we're going to do some moon salutations today. Maintaining the feet together, pressing down with the feet on the mat, engaging the legs, the glutes, the core slightly, hands in Anjali Mudra or Namaste in front of the chest. We're going to start with our moon salutes. Take a deep inhale, reach the arms up, slightly back, look to the fingers. Exhale, go forward, 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 and down, hands to the mat. Step the right leg back, knee on the mat. Inhale, interlock the fingers behind you. Point through the back foot, open the chest, and bring the hips forward. Maintain the right glute engaged for three. Two. And one, bring the hands to the mat, step back into a plank position. Core glutes engage, slowly start dropping, very, very slowly until you reach the mat. Inhale, open the chest into a cobra, shoulders back, elbows in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring the right leg up, take a deep inhale. Exhale, foot forward, left knee on the mat. Point the back foot, interlock the fingers, open up the chest, shoulders back, hips forward for three, left glute engaged, two, one, bring the hands to the floor, step forward, feet together, forward fold, inhale to bring the arms up, slightly back, exhale to the center. Moving to the left, same thing, inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, forward and down, hands to the mat. Bring the left leg back, knee on the mat, inhale, interlock the fingers, same thing, open up through the chest, hips forward, engage through the left glute. For three, feel the opening on the left hip flexors, two, and one, bring the hands to the mat, step back, plank position, core glutes engage, slowly lower down as you exhale, until you reach the floor, maintaining the glutes, the core engaged. Inhale, open the chest into a cobra, elbows in, shoulders back. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Bring your left leg up and back, inhale. Exhale, foot forward, right knee on the mat, same thing, interlock the fingers, open the chest, shoulders back, engage through the right glute, hips forward for three, good, two, one, hands to the floor, step forward, feet together, forward fold, inhale to bring the arms up, slightly back, exhale to the center. One more time on each side, inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, go forward, forward and down, hands to the floor. Step the right leg back, knee on the mat. Inhale, reach the arms up. Interlock the fingers, make a pistol with your hands, elevate the shoulders. Hands back, hips forward, right glute engaged for three. Two. Nice. One, hands to the mat, step back into your plank. Slowly start dropping down as you exhale. Imagine you're a stick, you drop equally on each side of the body. Inhale, open up the chest. As you exhale, come back into your downward facing dog. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale, foot forward, left knee down, same thing. Inhale, reach the arms up. Interlock the fingers, make a pistol, hips forward, engage the left glute. For three. Two. Beautiful. One, hands to the mat, step forward, feet together, forward fold. Inhale to bring the arms up, slightly back. Exhale to the center, last one on the left, inhale. 
Exhale forward and down, hands to the mat. Step the left leg back, knee on the floor. Inhale, reach the arms up, interlock the fingers, open up the chest. If you feel comfortable, flex the back foot, see if you can press the heel back. Keep opening up through the thoracic for three. Hips keep going low, two. Left heel keeps pressing back, one. Bring the hands, knee on the floor, then step back into a plank. Slowly as you exhale, drop down into a lower push-up chaturanga until you reach the floor. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last one here, inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, foot forward, right knee on the mat. Inhale, reach the arms up, interlock the fingers, flex through the right foot. See if you can press the heel back. Keep opening up through the thoracic and breathe for three, two, one. Hands to the mat, step forward, feet together, forward fold. Inhale to reach the arms up. Slightly back, exhale to the center, beautiful. We're gonna bring the feet separated about hips distance, trying to move into more deep back bends from here. Bring the hands onto the hips, just on top of the glutes, but still grabbing the hip bone. Toes gently out, heels slightly in, bring the hips forward into a posterior tilt on the pelvis, Open up through the chest, bring your shoulders back, your elbows in, feel free to look forward, up or back, and breathe. For 10, on each inhale, find more lift. On each exhale, ground more through the feet, hips go a little bit farther forward. Seven, six, five, four, three, two and one slowly inhale to come back up exhale slowly come down into a squat move gently side to side to release any tension we're going to work on a gentle twist to release first option you can have the left hand on the floor forward and to the left corner of the mat then the right hand places on top on the right knee and then we push gently to help us twist. If this feels okay, right arm can come up. If that still feels okay, try to internally rotate the left arm, reaching back with the right hand as well, and grabbing with the left hand the right, open through the right shoulder. Any of these three options works great. And breathe for three. Good. Two. And one, slowly release, come back to the center. Same thing on the other side, right hand goes forward and then to the right corner of the mat. Maybe left hand on top of the left knee, pushing gently. Maybe left arm can come up, so we twist a bit deeper. Or maybe we internally rotate with the right arm, with the left arm too, and we grab with the right hand, the left, or maybe the left wrist, Open through the left shoulder, look gently up. And we breathe for three, two, good. And one, slowly release. Come back into your squat. Bring your hips forward, your knees forward, maybe hands on the floor. Drop the knees on the mat. We're gonna move into some camel pose variations. Stand on your knees. Make sure your knees and your hips are the same distance. Glutes slightly engaged. We're gonna work on a similar action we were working from standing, where the hips want to go forward, the glutes are slightly engaged. We're gonna start only with one arm, then we'll do the other, and finally we'll do both together. First option, you can have the left hand on the left hip or lower back. If you feel that feels comfortable for you, we can flex the feet and place the left hand on the left heel. If that's still comfortable for you, then point the feet 
and place the left hand on top of the left heel. Okay? So first option, hip, then heel with feet flexed. Last option, with the feet pointed. Right arm is relaxed, we take a deep inhale and we bring the right arm all the way to the left and back, opening up through the chest, hips go forward, glutes slightly engaged, extend the right arm back. And we breathe here for 10. On each inhale, try to find more lift of the chest. Hips go forward on the exhale, ground through the feet and the knees. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back to center on the inhale. Exhale directly if you can switch. Right hand on the right heel or on the hip. Left arm moves all the way to the right and back. And we breathe for 10. Same thing. Nine. Slow and long breath. If you have neck issues, feel free to look forward. That's going to make it more comfortable for your neck. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one slowly inhale to come back the same way you came into the form and exhale, sit down on your heels or maybe relax in your child's pose with the forehead on the mat, separating the knees a little bit from each other, releasing the arms down, moving gently side to side. Slow and long breaths. For three more breaths here. Very good. Two. And one. Perfect. When you're ready, use the hands to push the floor away. Come back onto your knees. Again, make sure your knees and your hips are the same distance. Glutes slightly engaged. Hands can go on the hips. We can press with both hands on the hips to open the chest. This is the first option. Shoulders back, elbows in. If this feels okay, we flex our feet and we reach with both hands our heels. Last option of our full camel, we can point the feet, reaching with the hands, the heels, opening up through the chest, bringing the shoulders back, engagement on the core a little bit so the lower back can come back to neutral. Okay, hips go forward. Again, chest lifts more, gentle external rotation on your shoulders, on your arms, and breathe for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, breathing deeply and slowly, four, three, two, and one. Slowly engage the core, push yourself back up as you inhale, and on the exhale, release, relax in your child's pose. Moving gently side to side, noticing any sensation you may have right now on your back. Breathing deeply and slowly here. For three. Two. And one. Perfect. When you're ready, bring the hands close to your face. Push the floor away. Come back to sitting on your heels. And then slowly sit down on the floor on the side. Extend the legs. If you have any tension on the legs, move them gently up and down, side to side. 
Extend the arms forward. We're going to start moving forward and back for three times. Round the spine, start coming down for the count of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one, come back for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go forward ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one last one, go back for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, engage the core, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Beautiful. We're going to work on a gentle twist to release from all these back bends we worked on today. Slowly bend through the right leg. First pull the knee towards the chest and notice that when you pull strongly, most of your vertebras, if not all the vertebras, ground on the mat. Notice that connection. Slowly with your left hand, grab the outer right knee and slowly bring the knee all the way to the left. Extend the right arm to the right, or maybe bend the elbow if that's best for you. Try to really ground through both your shoulders and focus on twisting deeper on the exhalations. Three more breaths here. Good. Two. And one, beautiful, slowly inhale to come back. Exhale, switch your legs. Inhale deep. Exhale, pull the knee towards you. Notice the connection with the ground, the connection with the mat. And slowly inhale deep with the right hand, grab the outer left knee. And as you exhale, twist onto the other side. Extend maybe the left arm to the left or maybe bend the left elbow. Breathing deeply and slowly. Trying to twist deeper on every exhalation. For three more breaths here. Two. And one. Slowly inhale, come back to center. Bend both knees, hug the knees, separate the knees a little bit from each other. Or if you reach, try to grab the outer edges of your feet to come into a happy baby pose. Start pulling your legs down. Try to ground through the spine completely. Try to bring your sacrum down to the mat, your lower back, your middle and upper back onto the mat. Maybe move gently side to side for three deep and long breaths. Two. And one, good. Slowly when you're ready, allow the legs to drop. Extend the legs, separate the feet about the width of the mat. Separate the arms from the upper body, palms facing upward, coming into your Shavasana, a relaxing form. Try to let go of any physical or mental tension, especially on the exhalations, relax more and more. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth, release tension. Again, inhale deep through the nose. 
and exhale through the mouth. Good. One last time, inhale deep through the nose. And exhale fully. Slowly start bringing your awareness back into your physical body. Move the toes, the feet, fingers, hands and neck. Just as when you wake up from bed, stretch yourself completely, maintaining your eyes closed. Slowly bend your knees. And just as when you sleep on one side, lay down onto one side, feeling the body heavy, relaxed. With the help of your hands, slowly come into a seated position, making sure the spine is long, shoulders are gently back, hands anywhere that feels comfortable, eyes are still closed. And take a moment here to observe your body, your mind and your breath and ask internally how are you feeling right now and if you find any pleasant sensation arising try to consciously maintain that feeling for the rest of the day hopefully for the days to come too take one last inhale deep through the nose and exhale through the mouth Relax the neck, chin to chest. And very slowly and gently, we will open our eyes. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. See you on the next class. Namaste.